Hey, cheap and happens or so. Oh, for baby, I'm out doing them. If it's a wound, the traffic. Through this motto, I have seen a lot of development in my life. It helped many people. Uh, it's not even we those who are selling alone. That is a similar story you would find anywhere in Kumasi or Techiman or even Tamale. It reflects how the face of public transport is changing with the influx of these tricycles. Call them Abubuya or Pragya or Adedita in Kumasi and Techiman and of course Yellow Yellow popularly so called in Tamale. Along with the popularity, however, comes the dangers and inherent risks. At the hospitals, the number of casualties are soaring. Every day, I think we receive about five cases every day. So you go to AIE and you see that there are about four or five cases lying there. What are city authorities doing in the face of the rising risk levels involving these tricycles along Ghana's middle and northern belt. My name is Komla Adum and I am on the road to explore the good, the bad and the ugly side of tricycle transport. It's past 8 p.m. here at a makeshift loading base at Sepe Junction, a suburb of Kumasi. It's busy. Nighttime commuters are out on the road. 23 year old Faisal Lisaka and his colleague Pragya or Adedita riders are calling out for passengers. He's one of those young men who had to quit driving trotro or taxi to venture into tricycle operation. The tricycle has become a source of transportation. I stopped driving trotro to do this. And so far, it has been rewarding. We are able to save and cater for operational cost. The tricycle is able to enter the city corners. And it is no surprise there are this many tricycle riders out here at this time of the night. Umar is 20. Even though he does not ride the tricycle, his role along this chain is popular. He is the loading boy. There's no work in the country. So for the Pragya, when the Pragya comes, it helps the boys for them to get what, what to eat. But people to take it as they are work that they do. Okay. And, and they make it. Okay. Even so many people married with, with this Arilita and so many people go to that our heart that they go. So they used to do many things. Okay. So you, as an individual, how yeah. long have you been here helping the people to load? And oh. if they load like that, the people, if they load, finish them good, and they give you money, mm. how you, they benefit you too? Or you to get a pragya song? No. Okay. So you don't get some. I don't. I don't um, no, I don't. Uh, I'm not the driver. Also, also, let me tell you understand. Assuming, I come back as, as, assuming this pragya, they stand here. If they stand here now. You know, be for me, you know, be for him. You for someone, you go load down, you go take one CD. Okay. One CD. Per load. Yeah. Per load. Maybe so, when we are so, going to a estate or dot, 
that is where we look, we, all, we always look estate or not. So when you load and your prayer is full, you have to pay us 50 pesos. But at times, when the time is late, like this time, we used to collect one series. Okay. You so do you get people coming to take the prayer? Yeah, prayer always. Prayer? They always come here. People always come here. Prayer. Because the, the, the road is not good. So no car will go there. For, the, for now. Okay. When you maybe stand taxi on less drop -in. so they used to sacrifice themselves to take the people who go there because the road there is not good few meters away from the loading base a mother with a baby strapped behind her back is waiting for a means of transport home after an evening church service <laughs> This is a cheaper means of transport. It is also convenient. But if it is banned, it would affect us greatly. Even though it is the most common means of transport, the riders are sometimes reckless. If you say go has no music can it means that it may be free to the accidents, basa basa. And I'm quite so much in it. So many perfect. It's a more band than I bear boy. But it was a bear a better higher cracker. In the 40 or so minutes we've been here, it's been a swarm of tricycles going back and forth with passengers. Sometimes more passengers than the tricycle must take. It has led to regular brushes with the police. police there. The police often stops us and checks our documentation. Once you have a roadworthy certificate and license, you are good to go. We also need to observe road traffic regulations. And as we mean of the Russian media, people are here. If you catch us, why are there no lands? But we also have some lands here. We are in Kasa. Faiza, Isaka, and Umar, the loading boy, and their colleagues will be at it till midnight, while others continue till the break of dawn. It's 6 a.m. here in the Sokari Mampo municipality. While Dauda Akulimawuga and his friends are busy moving from house to house, collecting refuse, the others are busy calling out passengers. Dauda and those like him are clear in their mind the role they play in ensuring sanitation in these inner cities. For some reason, they are not enthused about reports of a possible ban on the activities here. If you are to an able no, a mother will go down. Obi Akura and Nantia, no one should be in a nod at the tour. Until Nantisano, no one should be to an answer side of Guma, another idea, only a Yenishka. Our community would have been filthy. People who would usually litter the neighborhood now keep the refuse and we would come and collect them. Remember your time. Aha, it's a brass and be brave. 
If they ban our activities, the Zongo communities would be filthy and the youth would go back to social vices. Fifty-eight-year-old Hudu Yakubu believes these tricycle operators who cart refuse from house to house are complementing the efforts of the assembly. But Yama Kwanse Aboboya is a bola. Ama Bruni Bia Uko Biani Ute. I used to collect refuse with the tricycles. Before now, our communities were always dirty. But now their work is helping the assembly. The tricycles are also used for delivery services. I work with a company which assigns me to do deliveries with a tricycle, so it's been very helpful. So here at Sawaba in Kumase, Fuseini is getting ready to ride these passengers, including the students, to their locations. And it is what you see here each morning, especially the school children who are eager to find their way from their homes to their schools. And this is their means of transport. This transport is very well. It's helping us. It's, it doesn't take out much time. It's helping us from one place to another. We can reach school without coming late. This transport is help us too much. We doesn't go to school late. It's help us. This one is better because it doesn't take much time. It's also cheaper. These tricycles are facilitating transportation from one place to the other in the capital. It is all you see at the fuel pumps, the traffic lights, the intersections, and in the street corners. Aminu Ibrahim Bamba, secretary to the Pragya and Ukada Riders Union here, tells me their role in the lives of the people has become more prominent. We are into city transportation, inner city transportation, transporting from short distances to the market center, to the schools, and so many city inner city transportation there are other unions that i know but we are about thousand plus and the ritual in kumasi here is over five thousand operating in kumasi here looking at the cost fuel consumption it is very economical and it has created a lot of jobs because looking at what a taxi would take from here Saba junction to ababu station it will cost you about three cities plus but we take one city 50 percent from here to a babu station. So if you look at the economic difference, it's very much affordable. Myself, I'm a graduate. I, I did uh, computer science at the university. But after my service, I didn't get any work to do. So I was swimming about when I decided to purchase this moto. And through this moto, I have seen a lot of development in my life. You understand, even through this motto, I got married. Even through this motto, I'm currently mobilizing myself to further my education. And not even me, I know a lot of graduates who are in this work. And even they prefer even remaining in this work than even going into uh, like any set to work. 
because of the benefit that they are getting in it. Despite the benefits in the area of job creation and sustaining livelihoods of people here, this form of transportation is not regularized, even though Ghana's Road Traffic Regulations 2012 LI2180 is clear. Article 1281 provides, the licensing authority shall not register a motorcycle or tricycle to carry a fair paying passenger. A person shall not use or permit a motorcycle or tricycle over which that person exercises control to be used for commercial purposes except for courier and delivery services. A person shall not ride on a motorcycle or tricycle as a fair paying passenger. A person who contravenes sub-regulations 1, 2 or 3 commits an offence and is liable on summary conviction to a fine of not more than 25 penalty units or to a term of imprisonment of not more than 30 days or to both. In fact, on paper, they have been restricted from using some of the city's major roads and these operators have unpleasant experiences with the law. I have come to the Ashanti Regional Police Headquarters to speak to Motor Traffic and Transport Department MTTD Commander, Superintendent Emmanuel Edubwahin, about enforcement of this restriction and how far the police has gone in sanitizing the space. That one has not been uh, materialized as far as uh, the Ashanti region is concerned. Uh, in fact, I think uh, it's, it's, it's started somewhere. But here, that hasn't been our focus now. Our focus is for them to obey the road traffic rules and regulations. Since we started special operation on the use of motorbikes and then the tricycles, I think the behavior is now far, far better than it used to be. Even though it is far better, we cannot say that we have been able to completely uh, eliminate that kind of uh, uh, indiscipline. A lot of them are now complying, especially those who used to be riding on the shoulders and in the middle of the road. I know most of them are now complying. Where we have a bit challenge is still on the Tafu Road and sometimes Abu Abu Stretch. But we have also been able to get some leadership and we have engaged them. And they are also doing very well. They have also started with their own local sensitization and education and engaging their people to behave the way they should because uh, we have warned them that until the behavior is changed, you will not allow anybody to go along uh, with that kind of impunity any longer. Superintendent Emmanuel Edubahin recalls an incident involving one of these tricycles right before his eyes. Remember one guy at dawn around 1 a.m. just at the city center here, he was riding this uh, tricycle with uh, earpiece and then uh, uh, he crashed into a sprinter bus which was loaded with the uh, cabbage from Kumasi to Accra and then he died instantly on several occasions, some of them. In fact, the way a man and that vehicle is constructed is not conducive to be used for carrying uh, passengers. That is the safety aspect that we want to hammer. Even though there are several uh, reasons for which people are using it, it is economical, it is affordable, it is accessible, and all those things. It also gives uh, some kind of employment, which we do agree. However, we should also look at the safety aspect. So that is why we have been always advising that we need to be very careful when you are riding this kind of uh, or this type of vehicle. 22 year old Ibrahim is a victim of a motorcycle accident who has now found the Pragya as a useful source of income since his left leg was amputated. With his crutches by his side, he plies the Sawaba stretch. <laughs> 
Me moto, na me to be moto two times. I know I make a shiro. I had accident in the I had a moto accident two years ago, and my leg was amputated. I was helpless and without a job until I discovered I could ride a tricycle. Best I know me no juma na the pia ma kwa wa suru me jengene sa. The siari e e e. Now, I have a source of livelihood and I can cater for my family. If they ban our activities, it will cause us great trouble. Ibrahim is one of a few lucky ones to have survived the crash. Many of them have lost their lives and are only remembered in times of giving statistics. And there are several more who have been maimed forever. In the Ashanti region, out of a total number of 357 persons killed in wood accidents, moto and tricycle alone killed 104 between January and September 2021. Data from the MTTD show 29% of the accidents were attributed to motorbikes and tricycles. At the Accident and Emergency Center of a Confanochi Teaching Hospital lay some of the faces behind the accident statistics. Trauma orthopedic surgeon here, Dr. Dominic Kunedu Yabwa, has seen some of the worst injuries of victims of tricycle accidents here. Road traffic trauma in Ghana is a major public health burden that has been claiming a number of lives, that has been causing a number of disabilities. This has been a long-standing problem which we are advocating for solution. Uh, nonetheless, we have this added problem of motor tricycles, uh, Prajaya and then Abubuya. So in 2017, our data showed that all the injuries that presented to the Confanochi Teaching Hospital, tricycles, were involved in 3%, only 3% of the injuries. But recently, as we speak, in 2021, tricycles account for about 15% of all injuries. So within a period of, um, within a period of uh, four years, it has risen from 3% to 15%. So it's soaring, and the rate at which it is rising it's alarming. So we need to look at this issue of uh, tricycles causing more injuries and causing more deaths and see how we can stem the tide and help save lives. These tricycle accidents, when they happen, the injuries are severe. So sometimes you can, you can see the injury and predict that this is most likely due to a tricycle. Because the feet are exposed, the legs are exposed, and sometimes um, the, the riders tend to fall off or the, the tricycle tend to, tends to overturn. So the feet and the legs tend to be affected most of the time. So we have high energy injuries to the legs. They will come with what we call open fractures. Sometimes the leg may be mangled or it may be amputated at the site. So most of the tricycle injuries that we see involve the legs. The legs are involved in about 35% of all the injuries that we record here as a result of uh, tricycle accidents, Abubuya and then Prajaya. The riders themselves admit they are vulnerable to accidents. Some of them lose their lives and the source of livelihood for their dependents is cut out. If anything comes new, people are not used to it. Operating it, it has to take time. So at the beginning, we had a lot of accidents. But as time goes on, education and the usage, people have come used to it and how to operate it. If you talk of accidents, no, the statistics some time ago has shown that we have a greater percentage of accidents in terms of our uh, region. But as we go forward, if you look at the vehicle accidents as compared to the tricycle, it outweighed as a, as a, as a tricycle far. But for those who are responsible for treating these injuries, it's far worse than the riders portray it. 
so long as they get here alive we do our best to keep them alive but we can't save them all the time when the the the, the, the injury is very severe uh, they come sometimes we do our best but we lose them um, when 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 it involves the limbs we amputate the limb they survive but if it is so severe and multiple sometimes you can have severe injuries to the head severe injuries to the chest severe injuries to the abdomen all occurring in the same person so instead multiply injured patients the the survival rate is low we may do a lot but uh, most of them tend to succumb due to the multiplicity and severity of the injuries. And these are what we see from motorcycles and then uh, motorbicycles and motor tricycle uh, accidents. Despite the accident fatalities, these tricycles, whether for transport, carting goods and refuse, have such a huge market here. This is Alabak, one of the busiest enclaves for motorized tricycles and the Pragya that transports individuals from one point to the other. It is also a hub where spare parts of these uh, motorized tricycles are sold and also fresh brand new motorcycles are sold. We are here to understand from the perspective of those who deal in sale of these, how it is impacting their livelihoods and how this form of transportation has become the mainstay. Alhaji Sumaila is a businessman who sells fresh tricycles in this enclave. Many people come to buy the tricycles from us. They attest to the fact that it has been helpful. One of my brothers take care of about 15 tricycles because the business is booming. All you need is to render sales of 50 cities a day. Multiply by one month, you are gone. By the end of the year, you won't have offset the cost. It is good business. There are 60, 70 and 80 year olds who still ride this. In the public sector, they would have been on retirement. So it has been beneficial. traffic 